Welcome to the Art of Building Science workshop. When a home is built and occupied, the owners may have never heard the words building science, but they sure can tell when their homes have been built without regard to basic building science principles. This isn't even funny. You see, I grew up in an old drafty four-bedroom house. So when I could finally afford my own home, what did we buy? A new drafty four-bedroom house. We moved in, and we made the room over the garage the baby's room. Put up this cute border. Rows of Pooh Bears eating honey. It was like out of a magazine. Then the winter came, and it was the coldest room in the house. I used extra blankets, but I mean, that isn't right. I don't understand. We downsized from the big house to the cozy retirement community to save money. But you know what? My energy costs, they're just about the same. I don't get it. We like to entertain at home, so we always wanted a home with a great room. Fireplace, den, kitchen, TV entertainment setup. It's a not so great room. Yeah, that's right. The windows do sweat, and we've even had the builders come out to make certain adjustments, but... But they still sweat, and I have dirt marks around the window frames. The builder said, you'll get used to it. I said, right to his face, I said, I sit in this room right in the same spot every day, and I'll never get used to it. I can't understand how they promise lower fuel bills, and then you move in and... Surprise! I'm a little disappointed in the way some rooms are too hot, some rooms are too cold. I mean, I walk through the house putting on a sweater, taking off a sweater, and then there's the sweaty pipes. I told the builder for $280,000, you would think they could do a better job. It's not rocket science, you know. It's, uh, it's, it's... Uh... It's building science. Welcome to the Art of Building Science Workshop. It's not rocket science. It's pretty obvious that homeowners expect more in their new homes. Understanding building science can help you create better living environments and more satisfied homeowners. So just what is building science? The answer is simply this. Building science is a systems approach to home building that considers the relationships between a home's components and its environment. And here's the goal of building science. Building science aims to optimize occupant health, comfort, and safety while maximizing energy efficiency and structural durability. Every house, small and large, is pretty much a living, breathing thing. All the home's components are interrelated through building dynamics. You change one thing, and other elements of the house are affected. Every component of the house is interrelated to the other components. We'll spend time discussing this in detail soon. From a practical standpoint, the goals of building science are to improve occupant comfort, reduce energy costs, control moisture, reduce indoor air pollution, reduce builder and contractor callbacks, and by doing this, to create satisfied homeowners. Now, we're calling this the art of building science because building science is really just that, an art. That's because no two homes are ever the same. Building plans are not identical. Building materials and components are never identical. Home sites are different. Even homes in the same vicinity can have different orientations and elevations. Mechanical systems are not identical. And, of course, occupants all have different living habits. Often, small changes in one component can have dramatic and unexpected effects on the entire house. Here are some examples. Changing size of heater and or air conditioner. Increasing size of room from original plan. Adding a fireplace. Changing exterior siding material. Replacing double-hung windows with picture windows and varying the site location and or orientation. And there's more to consider. The actions of a home's occupants and the environment can also affect the entire house. For example, think of what these changes may mean. 
opening a window, turning heat on and off, doing laundry, cooking, and wind. Now, let's look a little more deeply into what goes on in a home, introducing heat flow, air flow, and moisture flow. More and more, science is taking a greater role in home building. Increasingly, homes are becoming more comfortable and energy efficient through science. And because no two homes are alike, and because no two homes are built in exactly the same location, building science is somewhat of an art form. Welcome to the art of building science. It's easier than you think. Building science sees a house as a series of interrelated systems designed to provide comfort and safety to the occupants with a high degree of energy efficiency. Three elements affect a home's comfort, safety, and energy efficiency. These are the building envelope, the home's mechanical systems, and the activities of the home's occupants. These factors are all linked to three important flows in a home. The flows are heat flow, air flow, and moisture flow. The building elements that define the envelope include the exterior walls, the foundation, windows and doors, and ceiling. The building envelope allows us to maintain a comfortable temperature and humidity level while allowing adequate ventilation inside the home regardless of outside conditions. The mechanical systems include such things as the heater, the air conditioner, water heater, washer and dryer, ventilating fans, and so forth. Most mechanical units have an obvious purpose, such as adding heat or moisture to a home, but they frequently have a less obvious effect on the home, such as increasing the airflow in or out of the house. The occupants include all the living things such as people, pets, and plants. People directly affect the flow of the heat, air, and moisture in a home by the way they operate appliances, adjust the thermostat, do laundry, bathe, and cook. Occupants also change the efficiency of the building envelope by opening and closing windows and doors. And since people and plants release heat and moisture into the home, they also affect the flow of heat, air, and moisture. It's important to remember that all three flows, heat, air, and moisture, are interconnected with the three major elements of the home mentioned earlier, the building envelope, the mechanical systems, and the occupants. Years ago, understanding building science was a lot less important. Today, things are different. The marketplace is continuing to change, and our industry has to keep pace. We have more educated, more demanding consumers. We're faced with an increase in liability litigation. Builder and contractor consolidation is changing the marketplace. And of course, building codes are constantly changing. Applied building science keeps our industry up to date. This presentation is structured so you can learn about building science at your own pace. It's a good idea to follow the topics in the order they are listed. The first three topics will give you an in-depth understanding of the three major flows in a house, heat flow, air flow, and moisture flow, and how these flows affect the building and its occupants. Next, we'll discuss healthful indoor air and what you should know about how to maximize a home's air quality. We'll show you how the systems in homes, mainly air conditioning and heating, are evaluated and adjusted to help achieve optimum performance. And we'll give you some valuable information on sound control. The goal of this program is to provide you with information that will help you do a better job. There's plenty of information presented in a practical format. Most segments begin with a discussion of a topic, for example, heat flow in a house, followed by problems caused by heat flow, and then practical solutions that you should know. There are some video scenes that will help you visualize the scientific principles we're discussing. There's a lot of good information here, so feel free to go back and review the material as often as you wish. 
Now let's begin with the module on heat flow. Go to the menu and select heat flow. 